How are you feeling, James? Good. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. We are at our favorite little strip, the Norwood Parade, slash my favorite little strip, not James's, he doesn't care. Um, and we're going to go have some breakfast at my fave cafe in Adelaide. Mm, big surprise. We're gonna go to Argo. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, see where the day takes us. Mm, should be good. Woo! It's pretty good, very umami-ish. It's delicious. I had toast with like labneh and egg. James had an umami burger. Holly just had, she literally had uh, eggs on toast. No, it was fancy. <laughs> it's delicious. Why do you bother taking me to nice places? <laughs> hey, look, I had a burger, so it's not exactly like I'm like elevating my cuisine or anything. You had an umami burger, which was also a glorified cheeseburger yeah. with some mushrooms on it. We were just filming on the other camera, or on the camera, and the camera died, so that's cool. So we're driving, um, we were going to go into the city tonight, but we couldn't decide what we wanted to eat, so we're going to Chico Palms in Henley Beach, which is an Italian place, and James has told me about it heaps since I've been coming to Adelaide with him, but we've never been, so I'm really excited. And then we might go for a little walk around the city before we finish up tonight, because we're exhausted. So mm. we're probably going to drop dead really early and hopefully have a sick day tomorrow. <laughs> Last night after we had pizza we went to the city, went for a bit of a walk around, got some things. It's really busy in the city last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty busy, but I think that's a usual, usual crew plus, you know, Christmas and all the feels. We hung out there for a little while. It's really weird. In Adelaide, it stays light until about 8.30, so we were out, um, we probably left at about 8.30 when it started to get dark, and I was just ultra confused. Now today, off to go to a little girl's birthday party, but we're going to go get a coffee first, um, and yeah, then drift on over. Enjoying sunshine outside this morning, having coffee. At Flinders Street Project this morning. Basking, trying to get a tan, a quick express tan before we arrive to meet all of James's friends. So we're dressed. We ran home after our one year old birthday party today to change, get ready, look delicious, and go for an impromptu attempt at getting to see a comedy show because we found out at this birthday party that Joe Coy is here. So. Yes, pray for us. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can get a last minute ticket and get in. We got some tickets. Woo! So much ticket life. And we got a gin. And we got some chips. And the tickets were really cheap. Yeah. And we got yeah. good seats. This is where James saw Kanye. Yeah, back Kanye, in the day. Kanye and the Roots. Yeah. This, this room is tiny. Like, Crazy, right? Like, considering that now, like, Kanye does, like, studio tours. How much do you reckon your ticket would have cost? My ticket? Yeah. Would have been, like, 80 bucks. To see Kanye. Yeah. Well, it's pretty good in Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> Adelaide. It's pretty wow. Well. come back to Adelaide ever again. It's almost out of Hey, maybe you would just for memes like you. Does anyone else get this puppy in the morning or is it just me? My voice is really croaky this morning, but it'll warm up soon. But we are off to Norwood again this morning to have some breakfast and go to a class, do a workout because we feel fat AF after the past few days because we've been just eating and not moving um, with the family. It's recovery mode. <laughs> Full Christmas mode has already settled in. So we're going to go do a workout. And then today we might do a little bit of exploring since we haven't been moving very much. We were thinking we might try and go to like, um, like go for a bit of a walk around the gardens or something. Just to dinner tonight with the fams again. Probably the last one that we get everyone together though, so. Yeah. But we're gonna like try to have actual meals. 
yeah I try and have actual healthy meals the last few days we've been having like a big lunch and a big dinner but like not really having breakfast and then just eating like well I mean James hasn't but I've been eating just like heaps of like random chocolates and stuff like that um, for breakfast and it's been making me feel a bit flat <laughs> We've just had breakfast at Argo uh, again, and we both had smoothie bowls today. They were delicious. So now we're just having a walk around the parade, looking at some things before we go into our class, digesting our foods. Exactly. It's delicious. But yeah, we're having a look at some cute toys and stuff. Some weird things. Hanging out. Workout is done and it was a killer. It was, it was so rough. It was really tough. That rhymed. And now, at least we can say we've done something, right? Yeah, it's very juicy. It's nice and hot here today in oh. Adelaide. It feels like home. But anyways, workout done. Going for a drive. See where we end up next. Back at the Central Market. We always land here. Because it's good for snacks. So we're going to get some snacks at the central markets to have for like a light lunch. Um, but yeah, we love it here. Slash, I love it here. It's good here. It's good. Everything's tasty, hey. Mm. It's good for people who are indecisive. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good because there's like lots of little bits and pieces. <laughs> I'm really indecisive. And it's yummy. And it's quick. And it's easy. Your things in a bowl and then they cook it up for you and we eat it. So we finished our lunch, it was delicious, and that good. was a little bit spicy, but not too bad. It was pretty alright. Um, but yeah, it was delicious, and we stuck to our word and had only a light lunch. Um, we shared, and so we have to cool off now with a delicious ice cream. So we're sticking with the theme of the day, the Asian theme, and we are having pandan and taro flavors. It's gonna be fresh. It's gonna be good. And then we are definitely going to walk around. We promised we would walk around today. So we're gonna do it. He's Get some steps keen. in, I'm not keen. So. <laughs> I'm keen there, because it will make me feel like I've done something today. Where are we, James? Um, we're at the botanical gardens. It's, just, um, it's very planty, so um, it's a bit cooler in here. It's because it's, it's about 20,000 degrees. So it's actually really nice and cool in here. Yeah, well, and it's beautiful. So what happens when you have vegetables, big vegetables. Big vegetables. Look, if we can go down any path, you can pick your treasure. Walk down any area except not the creek area. Apparently, it says. Yeah. Do not enter the creek. That's yeah, where creepy people stay. Oh, this place is gorgeous. I can't believe we've never been here. There's so many places to like sit and hang out. Like you can sit here and have a picnic with your friends or your fans if you want to. I mean, I wish we had more time. Definitely come with a bit more time if you want to come here. It's a great place just to have a walk around and exercise a bit if you've been eating as much as we have. <laughs> at Sharky. We're 
We're gonna sit in the back seat now. We've been driving around in our Jeep on our Barossa Valley tour today. At our first stop, we're just about to go on to our second one. But it's been amazing so far. That's been pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'm super glad about that. Woo! It feels like burning hot here, but we have had three wine tasting now. Yep, and three. I'm well wasted. <laughs> We're pretty wasted. I did not have had half a piece of toast for breakfast. James had one and a half Enough. pieces. But we just had a delicious lunch. It was awesome. We're at David Franz at the moment. Beautiful, the South Third Winery, and now we're off to a gym place, which is super exciting. Mm, yeah, super so exciting. We've seen all the places, drank all the drinks, and had all the cheese today. We are home, obviously, um, and naturally we have already put our pajamas back on and gotten back into bed because it was a huge day and we didn't even remember to sign off this little portion of the vlog but it was amazing we went to three wineries three 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 wineries um the third one we had lunch at and then we went to a gin place um which was a Seppersfield distillery which was awesome and the day just went so fast hey mm -hmm. and we were drunk it's easily the best um wine tour that we've been to in terms of like if you actually want to taste stuff yeah, we got, a lot of things to taste. we got to um, we got like a little special visit, which they don't usually do into the uh, like where they actually make the wine in like a big stone area downstairs at the first one. Um, I'll put the link to the like actual tour that we did in the description box because we promised Pete that we would share it around because he did such an awesome job today. Um, it was an Airbnb experience, which we've never done before, um, but it was actually really cool. Hey. We'd do it again. For You'd sure. do it again. Mm. Yeah, same. It was really actually quite cool. His tour is called Brossa Valley Cellar Door and Gin Day, hosted by Pete. Lunch was provided, which was awesome. It was like a little, um, like a smorgasbord type thing, mm. like of like cheese and bread and. Um, and all the drinks, all the flats were like included, included well. which was sick. So we had all of our drinks included as well. And trust me, you don't need to buy like more drinks than what is already provided because like the tastings that usually they give you like four tastings, they were giving us like 13 tastings per winery that we were going to. So now we're home and in bed and we're so pooped after our day out that we don't think we're gonna do very much else. We're just gonna hang out. James is gonna cook a stir fry for us and we're gonna watch a movie or something. We are one day post our wine and gin tour it's about 3 40 p.m and we haven't we've basically not even needed any food yet have we oh uh, no um and we've just done a workout well i did i did two two workouts this morning i did two pilates classes james went and did some lifties at the gym um so we're feeling a little bit more health but now we're off to the city hopefully to grab some foods before we go and visit um james's other brother tonight for dinner and pick up some things for some friends friends wanted something from a lolly shop but whilst we were there of course we get sucked in and we found these big boys which we haven't had in so long i remember having them when i was a kid they're the best warheads super sour we got that um had a quick bite to eat because we hadn't eaten we just had like um a vietnamese rice noodle bowl which was actually really good and now we're off to dinner we are home back from adelaide today another trip done and it's a bit sad we always feel like we leave too quickly. Yes. <laughs> but we're home today. And for the first time ever, it actually feels cooler in Brisbane than it did when we left Adelaide today. But basically for the last few days, we sort of just like had a few hangs with the family. It was, was good. really good hangs. Yeah, it was good. Plus like, you know, it's, I think it's important. Like, you know, it's the half, last half of the year slash last month of last week a few weeks of the year it's the end of the year um, <laughs> and um you know spend nice some relax. time relaxing yeah nice time to relax do a fair bit of lying down and watching movies yeah so it's really good went to the markets i'm gonna get a cake to marathi 
I'm a simple girl. Then we went to Costco. I got that giant ice cream. Oh, we also went to, um, to dinner with my friends. And then today we, just, we went to a French restaurant. James had steak and I steak had and frites. eggs with cheese on them. I did not expect it to be eggs with cheese on it, but it's very French. that's what we had. And it was actually delicious. Like I didn't think I would like it, but it was actually delicious. Then we got on a plane and here we are. We've been shopping tonight, getting some Christmas shopping done um, for midnight shopping. And yeah, just dead now. Anyways, it's time for us to get ready for Christmas for the next week. And that is the end of our Adelaide trip for this year.